I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today, and I'm going to go ahead and start off with a few items that I purchased from MAC, and it's from their new fall collection. I got two of their Amplified Cream Lipsticks, which is one of my favorite lipstick formulas in general, and also from MAC. So I got the Burnished Beige and the On a Petal Still, and the packaging on this is just stunning. So this is just the box packaging, and they did carry that pattern over to the lipsticks as well, like... Just really, really pretty packaging on this collection. This first one is Burnished Beige, and it's kind of a mid-tone warm brown nude shade. Both of these lipsticks are actually a little bit darker than they made them look online, which I do wish they were that lighter shade, but these will both be really pretty kind of wearable fall shades as well for me. So this one, again, Burnished Beige, and it's an Amplified Cream, which I love the Amplified Cream formulation. And again, with this packaging, they even got uh, patterning around the casing or on the bullet on the inside too. Just really nice attention to detail on this collection. And then the other one is On a Petal Still, which is a mid-tone warm pink shade. I'll put that guy right here. So we've got Burnished Beige and then On a Petal Still right there. And then there's that packaging again. And then real quick, the lipsticks have got 0 0.10 ounces of product and they are made in Canada. And I was also able to get the eyeshadow palette times eight. It's called Feast Your Eyes. And this guy here has got 0.38 ounces or 11 grams of product across eight shades. And this one is made in Italy because all the shadows are big gelée. <laughs> and I could tell from the picture, so I was really excited about this palette. It is a little bit smaller in terms of the packaging, but the eyeshadows are a good size. So this is the uh, cardboard packaging that the palette comes in. I should show you guys the box, huh? It's kind of just mimics the um, actual packaging there and it's magnetic closure with a mirror in there and then you have got eight shades um, there are three shades in here that I would call like a it's almost like that creamy matte kind of formulation um, and it's this shade down here this brown and then this one right here and they're a little bit more difficult to pick up on a brush. I use the, the shimmery more foiled shades on a flat shader and those pick up nice with a flat shader brush, but um, I did have a little bit of trouble picking up those shades with a, a natural bristle kind of soft brush. So I do recommend something that is a little bit more firm to pick that product up, but the pigmentation is really good and they blend it out super, super beautiful. And this is a really pretty eyeshadow palette. So I'm happy that I was able to get it. Again, these are all baked jelly shades, which are some of my faves. Yeah, those mattes, they definitely, they're like a, a creamy matte. They have a little bit of tack to them, actually. And then these bottom four. Yeah, they almost feel creamy to the touch. And I do feel like those shimmers have more of a pop over a tacky base than they kind of look swatched there, but those are the swatches right there for the Feast Your Eyes um, eyeshadow palette right there. There seems to be quite a bit of ruckus in the background and my cats are raising pure heck. So that's what the noise is. <laughs> and then the indie brand Menagerie Cosmetics launched a new eyeshadow palette and it's called the Indigo Ink Pressed Pigment and Eyeshadow Palette. And I was able to snag one. They are going to be restocking this from what I saw on their Instagram, but it sold out pretty quickly, I believe. So this is the box packaging that it comes in. And this guy's got 24 grams of product across 12 shades. So each shadow is two grams, which is a lot of product that you're getting. And then here is the packaging. It is a cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. And I always love the imagery on Menagerie's uh, palettes. There's a mirror in there. And then here are your 12 shades. I am able to make this work standalone because the shift on this is kind of bright. But I do <laughs> I do bring in, um, it wouldn't be a video of mine, right, if I don't mention Pure Diamond Dust from Aether. But I like to bring in Pure Diamond Dust when I use this eyeshadow palette because the looks just come out so stunning with that extra brightness mixed with like these shimmer shades. It's just really, really pretty. Um, but these, these shades are stunning. I love the color combination in here. Oh my goodness. My cats are just, yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear them or not. Like, what a unique, look at that blue. It's such a unique color. So is that one. It's like a blue, blue gray with kind of a periwinkle to it, but oof. And this green, it's like a lime green, but it's a little bit toned down. <laughs> That's a waffle. The older rescue cat, orange rescue cat, um, duking it out with the new little rescue cat, Sherbert. <laughs> and then the bottom row here. Oh gosh, those colors. It is such a cool color story. I just think that's so beautiful. I should tell you guys too, um, this is a matte. This one is a matte. This green's a matte. Uh, these two shades are matte. And then these two shades right here are matte. But that is the... Um, indigo ink palette from Menagerie and then I'll show you guys the violet ink packaging too because it is a little bit different I think that they um, discontinued that palette I just like to look at these <laughs> but here is the violet ink it's also got an octopus on the top of it there aren't any repeat shades in here and I actually uh, have got my violet ink which I'll probably do the same I don't know for a while I'll leave the indigo ink in here but I'll probably end up um, putting them in my palette. I'll show it to you guys because some of these shades are just so pretty and it's really satisfying to look at. But this is what I did with all of my Menagerie Cosmetics uh, shadows. I pulled them out of the palettes. I did write the names on the back so that if I want to put them back I know like where they go and stuff. Um, the violet ink is these six right here on top in the original one and so there's like enough room for the new one on the bottom too. So isn't that pretty? And then I purchased two palettes from Ulta. This first one is from Flower Beauty and it's called Desert Lights. I really liked the first one that they did. It's called Jungle Lights. Like the quality on those shadows is so, so nice. And I am happy to report that the quality on this newer one is just as nice as the other one. And it's so affordable for how nice these shadows are. So they are all uh, shimmer, high shine, kind of foiled, almost I would say they're probably metallic eyeshadows. And this one again is Desert Lights and there's a total of 0.7 ounces of product or 21 grams across six shades. So you're also getting an astronomical amount of product in this guy. And ugh, these colors are really pretty, you guys. Like, wait till you see the foiling. Oh, these cats. Um, the foiling on these uh, shadows. They're just really, really pretty. Like, Flower really has it going on with this formulation, I think. I think it's stunning. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these guys. I don't want to go... <sighs> regulate <laughs> on them. <laughs> Aren't those pretty, though? And then these two. It's definitely a pairing palette for me. Unless I want a whole lot of shimmer. But gosh... Massive amount of product and such beautiful eyeshadows. And I got this on Ulta.com. So it's the Flower Beauty Desert Lights eyeshadow palette right there. And then I also purchased this Revolution Forever Flawless Hydra Dolphin eyeshadow palette. For one, the packaging on this is super, super pretty. Um, I was going to get the turtle one as well. It's actually in my bucket, but I wanted to get just one first to test the quality on it. And I am happy to report that the quality on this is very nice. So there's 18 eyeshadows, 0 0.03 ounces per shade, which isn't a, like a super ton like the mother two palettes, but you are getting 18 shades in this one. So this has their standard metal kind of packaging to it, and it is made in China. I just, 
I'm probably going to take the sticker off because I like to look at the dolphins on here. And this isn't quite a standalone, so I do bring in a lighter shade because um, everything's mid-tone or deeper in here. There's a mirror in there as well. But I'm really happy with the quality on these shadows. Um, so I have the turtle one and then two newer ones. I think they launched, like, it's not a Halloween collection, but it's kind of a smoky, two smoky palettes. I want to get those two because, I, again, I am happy with the quality on this. And they have got the same formulation. Tons of mattes and quite a few like foiled shimmer shades. And it's pretty affordable as well for I think the quality that you're getting. Again, I wanted to test out just one because sometimes their shadows can be a little hit or miss, but these more recent ones that I've purchased I have been quite happy with. Been enjoying the newer formulation. There are dolphins embossed in like the matte shades, but I'm slowly ruining those. And these guys. And then this bottom row. I want to get um, some of their uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, is it? Uh, the collab that just launched. Some of that packaging is so pretty too. And then these last two here. But pretty nice though, pretty nice. So that is the Forever Flawless um, Hydra Dolphin right there. I did use this underneath the brow and it deepens a little bit. It could be a little bit brighter for underneath the brow, but I did make it work for like an under the brow bone shade. And then next up, I got a couple lipsticks from Too Faced. I just had to have this uh, Gives Back Cruelty Free Sheer Love lipstick with their little mascot on it. It's the cutest packaging. So it's the Animal Pe Supporting the Animal People Alliance that's on here. And this is the shade. Does it have... I don't think they're really calling it a shade. It says 3E5Y on the bottom, but uh, this lipstick is made in Italy, and it's this guy right here. And then this is the packaging on this. It is super, super cute packaging. It's got the little, um, I think he's a chihuahua on the packaging. And this is actually the lipstick that I have on my lips today. And it also has got him embossed on the bullet, but it's kind of just a really pretty, um, light pink shade and it feels super comfortable on the lips as well so it's the Too Faced Belinda Carlisle um, lipstick right there and again with the packaging super super cute I also picked up two of their Lady Bold Empower pigment lipsticks um, which are a new formulation from them this is the box packaging. I got the two lightest shades in like the nude and the pink and I was so surprised like when I did one swipe of this lipstick on this is like full on one swipe pigment <laughs> like really really opaque pigment. It's, they're very comfortable on the lips um, but the formulation of the uh, Belinda Carlisle lipstick is a little bit thinner. Um, it's not as thick and opaque as this one. The packaging on these are nice and weighted and they also have a magnetic uh, cap on them. They just, they feel really nice in the hands. And then there's the little um, Too Faced on the side here. But this first one is the shade Brave, which is a nude. It's got a very pointed bullet on there, but I want you guys to see like this opaqueness is crazy. Like, very, very opaque lipstick right there. It's a thicker formulation for sure. It doesn't have a lot of slip to it, but it also feels really comfortable on the lips. So that is the shade Brave right there. It's a warm nude. And then I got the shade Level Up, which is a warm kind of mid-tone pink. This is another one um, that I thought was going to be a little bit lighter, <laughs> but kind of the same deal with the MAC lipsticks, but Again, these will be nice ones going into the fall. So that's kind of a warm mid-tone pink shade. And that is the shade Level Up and Brave from the new Too Faced um, Lady Bold. I want to get some of their lip liners too, but they weren't like released yet. Um, there's two shades in there that I want to get. 
Very pretty packaging though. Did I tell you guys where the uh, Lady Bold lipsticks were made? Let me tell you that real quick. They are made in Canada and then the little Too Faced um, Gives Back lipstick. This one is made in Italy. And then I also purchased the new Sugar Pill Fun Size 2 Mini Color Palette from Beautylish. And this guy here is the second palette that they came out with in their little uh, fun size with the kitty on the front. This one here has got nine shadows that are 0 0.03 ounces per shade. Again, a little small in terms of the amount of product that you're getting. Um, and this one is made in the USA. So here is the box packaging with the little kitty on the front and then there are your shades. So all of these shadows are matte eyeshadows and then here is your packaging with the little kitty on the front. It is a cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure and then there's a mirror. And then here are your nine shades. So they're kind of like um brighter pastels and the formulation on this like when you swatch it they don't look as nice swatched, but they apply on and blend out a lot nicer when you use them on your eyes. That's what kind of formulation it is. And I get along with it really well. But there's just some really fun, you know, kind of unique shades in here as well. So there are the first four. And then these next guys. Um, neither of the fun size palettes are kind of standalones for me. I always like to pair them with other shades or like super fun shimmers or something like that. But I think it will be fun to pair both of the fun size uh, palettes as well. And then this last one. So there are the swatches of the fun size two right there and then let me grab the original. So here's the original and it has got the pink packaging and then here they are side by side. So you can see there's a like a similar color story to them but all the shades are different in them. And they're all matte shades but they are really fun and I do think there's some unique matte eyeshadows in both of these as well. And then lastly here, I did get a PR package from ColourPop and they sent me over the Orchid of My Eye. Or kid, or kid you not, um, it's the Orchid Collection. <laughs> um, so it looks like this right here. And it is available on the ColourPop website right now. So it comes with the Or Kid You Not palette, which is an eyeshadow palette, uh, color sticks, lippy sticks, pressed powder blushes, and then also the shimmering body powder. So let me go ahead and grab those and swatch them for you guys. And I'll start off with the pressed powder palette. So a total of nine grams, so each shadow would be a gram because uh, there's nine shades in here. And this is actually the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes today. I did bring in a matte um, Wet n Wild Brulee underneath the brow and <laughs> the Pure Diamond Dust a little bit on the inner corner. Otherwise, mostly the purples and stuff are from this eyeshadow palette because it's mid-tone or, or quite a bit of deep shades in this one. So this is the box packaging. And then here is the actual packaging. So it's one of their nine pans in the plastic packaging and it does have a mirror in there. And just some really pretty orchid colors in here. I get along um, with the ColourPop formulation really well. I will say, um, I used this shade right here in the crease and I tapped my brush off, but for whatever reason, I did get a massive amount of fallout with that one. So I'll have to tap a little harder next time. <laughs> Because it did, it did kick up quite a bit of, of product in there. And then these ones. But pigmented and they blend out really nice. But I did, like I said, I got quite a bit of fallout with those mattes. And then the last shade. So yeah, there's a lot of depth in this one. Right there. Really beautiful colors though. So that is the Orchid You Not Pressed uh, Powder Palette right there. And then there are two pressed powder blushes. So these have each got 0.21 ounces of product in there. Here's the box packaging for these. Um, the first shade is called Potted. And this one is a really deep shade. Like I, I'm a little intimidated by this one. I have not used this one yet, but when I do use it, I'm going to use a really fluffy light brush because it's it's pretty deep um, both of these are matte very smooth uh, texture there it is a really pretty wine color 
So that is the shade Potted right there. It's called Potted. And then the shade that I have got on my cheeks today actually is the Just My Pluck. <laughs> which is right here. And this one's a bit lighter, but it's also got that mauvey purple undertone to it. Really nice smooth texture here as well. So that one is the Just My Pluck <laughs> blush. And I have it on uh, my cheeks today for blush. And then here's the Shimmering Body Powder. There's 0.35 ounces of product in here. Um, ColourPop products are made in the USA as well and it's one of these guys right here that has the large like thinner uh, plastic packaging. I always kind of, I do ride the struggle bus opening this packaging <laughs> but this here is really pretty like I'll probably more so use it as an eyeshadow because it's quite pigmented for like a, a golden mauve. Um, but it's like uh, I would compare it to their Super Shock formulation. It's got a little bit of squish to it. And it's uh, got a golden, like, duochrome to it. It's really pretty. But I liken it more so to a shadow or either. I think I could use this as a blush as well. So that's the Wild Orchid Shimmering Body Powder right there. And it does smell pretty decent of coconut. So there is a fragrance in there. So very pretty color though. The collection also came with three of their color sticks, which are like cream eyeshadows. This is a pretty new uh, type of product for ColourPop. Um, these have got 0.60 grams or 0.021 ounces of product in there. So this first one is Venus Slipper, which is a matte sparkle. So it's a little twist up pen. They kind of remind me like of, you know, how Laura Mercier has their uh, shadow sticks. And then this next one is Pressed and it's a metallic. This is really pretty. So that is pressed um, metallic, which is a metallic shade. And then the third one is a matte and it's called You Grow Girl. And this is a deep burgundy purple right there. So those are the three shadow sticks. And then lastly, the collection came with two lippy sticks. So again, same style of really pretty packaging. Um, we have got the shade, oh no, did my sticker fall off of this one? I think it did, I gotta look here. It's called Heavy Petal, which is the lighter of the two, but it's still a pretty deep shade on me. It's like a pink wine. So that one is Heavy Petal. And then the other one is quite deep. This one is called Orcus, and it is a matte right here, like a matte wine shade. So those are the two lippy sticks that come in the collection. Really enjoying the collections that are coming out with the fall vibes and a huge thank you to ColourPop for sending over that new collection. And that is everything that I have for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.